Yeah, I think I'm excited as much as everyone around the boot because it's a great, great day for, for the brand and obviously for the whole team which worked on the new insignia. We are very, very proud with our new product and the first reaction of the people around here is absolutely fantastic and amazing. So we are super excited. As a marketing guy, your responsibility is to understand the customers, who they are, what they are looking for, and you need to formalize it in a way that you can execute a product which will fulfill their needs, but will also surprise them. And the whole thing is to make it consistent. It doesn't work that you develop a car which looks like a very traditional car, because there are probably customers looking for it, with super strong engines. That would not work. So you are constantly looking for uh, consistency in the development so that the car itself appears to the customers as an evidence. The development of a product lasts years. It's really a teamwork. We have to teamwork with engineering, with design, with the sales team and so on. So it's, it's always, it's not happening overnight. I mean, it takes a lot of thinking, a lot of discussions, lots of fights also internally before we come to a product which we believe makes sense for our customers. So there are plenty of moments of truth, I would say, in the development uh, of a product such as the Insignia, but everything comes to an end and we are absolutely forgetting everything that happened before and we are just focusing on the fun and the pleasure to introduce it to our customers. In terms of engines, um, within the new Insignia, we are bringing a brand new generation of engines. We call 1.5 turbo gasoline engine, which is a full aluminum engine. Uh, which has been developed in the aim of uh, reducing the weight of the engine and reducing the frictions internally so that we have a better fuel economy. And we are also introducing in the future some more powerful diesel, en diesel engines, more powerful than what we have today in the current Insignia. So uh, this is one thing on the engine. On the other side, we have the transmissions and the drivetrains. The transmission, we will introduce uh, the brand new 88, so the automatic transmission with eight speed, which is also developed in a way to reduce uh, emissions. And when it comes to the drivetrain, we are introducing now a brand new all-wheel drive system we call Twinster, which offers the customer the possibility to have the rear torque vectoring. It's the latest development of all-wheel drive on the market, and it's a very, very premium uh, all-wheel drive system. Historical data and customer research shows that people want an all-wheel drive. In most of the cases, they also want a big engine because it works better all together. If you put an all-wheel drive system on a, let's say, smaller engines, then the car doesn't move too much and you don't get the benefit of the all-wheel drive system. You have to be consistent. If you want an up-level car, then you need to give it the right engine, the right uh, equipment, the right decoration, and so on. Everything we do, we base on uh, historical data, sales of the previous car, which give us a strong indication already of what the people are buying, actually. We also look a lot at competition, what competition is doing, so that we are not going in, any, in every direction. So we, we have to be consistent on the market also. And uh, last but not least, we have a lot of studies, customer studies. Uh, we are following customers in their journeys. We are asking them tons of questions and we are really trying to get out of this uh, something which is the essence of the product. We cannot offer everything. It's impossible. It would cost too much money. So as I said, sometimes we have to make balancing decisions. I can get this engine, but not with this transmission, maybe. Or should I better offer another one? I mean, we have to make those kinds of decisions all along the development process of the car. So I understand that some people might feel frustrated if they push hard and they give us a lot of feedback, maybe someday we can also improve from that perspective. It is a little bit difficult to talk about a typical customer because all customers are different. Generally speaking, I would say we have a lot of males. Unfortunately, the data shows this car is bought, and that's true for the, the segment, also for the competitors, by 90% of males, which is really, really high share of males. So we try, we want to improve also and attract more females also. So that's one point. The other point is customers are around the age of 50 years old, which is rather young on the segment, huh? because the average age in Europe for the purchase of a car is higher than this. It's more in the range of 60 years. So this is rather young people, active people, 
with kids at home, around two kids, so they need space. You see, it already drives you in the development of the product. You need enough space, enough roominess in the second row because you have kids. Uh, you need also a big trunk, easy uh, to load and unload. This customer data give us real strong indications how we should design our car. And obviously very important for the Insignia, uh, a big chunk, a vast majority of our customers are fleet customers, professional customers. They, get, they buy this car through their companies. But a big portion of these fleet customers are what we call user choosers. User choosers are people who have a lot of choice. They have a budget, let's say I have 500 euros per month for a car, and then I can choose whatever I want. And these are the people we are trying to attract. Okay, those people who have a lot of choice, we need to give them a good reason to go for the Insignia. And that's exactly what we're doing with this car. If I would need to define the Insignia in one sentence, I would have a hard time, but I will try. I would say it's the yin and the yang. And I need to explain a little bit more. The yin is the good reason for buying. This car has low fuel emissions, has a big trunk, is very comfortable, is very reasonable. But also, this car really brings a lot of emotions. This is a nice car. That, that you can desire. So you have a good reasons to buy it, but you don't care because you really want to buy it. That's the yin and the yang.